This was a challenging case of a patient who presents with uh, abdominal pain. So as we scroll down, the first thing uh, that we'll notice is that there is some portal venous gas in the left hepatic lobe. And so that suggests that there is ischemia somewhere in the bowel. So we're going to have a look for that in a little bit. Further down your scroll, you see this large subhepatic collection with an air fluid level, rim enhancement. So you have a large abscess over there, continuing on into the mesentery. And as you scroll even further, you can see additional abscesses in the pelvis, one large one over here, and it's communicating with another abscess uh, within the mesentery in the left lower quadrant. And so, of course, we need to figure out why this patient has all these abscesses and then why this patient has pneumatosis. And it can be challenging, but certainly whenever I see abscesses in the pelvis, I want to make sure I look at the appendix uh, to ensure that that uh, looks okay. In this case, you can see the cecum over here. The appendix comes out all the way at the base of the cecum. And if you're able to follow it a little bit, it has some oral contrast in it. You can see that it continues on over here. And really, there's some oral contrast that then empties into this abscess over here. And so this really is a case of perforated appendicitis with numerous abscesses, uh, many of which are communicating with one another. In terms of the portal venous cast, we can look at the cecum over here, and we notice that there's uh, gas within the wall of the cecum along its dependent portions. And so those findings are highly concerning for pneumatosis, patient uh, likely a cecal ischemia uh, with uh, resulting um, portal venous gas as well as perforated appendicitis with numerous abscesses in the abdomen and pelvis.